Now we are going to have uh, Maria Andrea. She's going to present over SQL Light, an unknown super ant. How are you, Andrea? Well, I'm here. I'm a little nervous, like I think everybody, and I'm very happy to be here. Very happy. Amazing. And um, okay, I think everybody, everything is going to be okay. Yes. Um, Where are you streaming from? I am streaming from Argentina, the, uh, oh, really? the north of Argentina, Resistencia Chaco. Uh, oh. So I don't know if. <laughs> I'm also Argentinian. Oh, yes. I'm also Argentinian. We are We're alone. everywhere. We are everywhere. We are the Argentinian ants. <laughs> yeah, indeed. In OK. Uh, well, if you are ready, uh, go ahead and start with it. Good luck. And thank you very much. OK, thank you. Good luck you do. Hello, I am going to talk about a very well-known uh, little data database. This uh, little database has a lot of beautiful and interesting features. He is, uh, just, you just use it, you don't need to configure it, you just put this in the uh, executable, in the binary executable into your uh, folder and everything is okay it's free for all users because it's public domain it's compact it's fast it's the most implemented uh, database in the world because it's in every firefox chrome android it's, mo it's the most used database and it's very reliable it's one of the best tested software in the world too Circulate has a lot of uses. He is used as very used uh, in data analysis because it's a very well known file format and is practical to exchange information. Uh, it's used as the base of proprietary file format. I have used uh, autopsy forensic software, for example, and it, it uses a uh, SQLite as his base format. He is used as a cache or temporary or in memory uh, uh, database. Uh, small, the small free, the full footprint, and the ability to use memory as his uh, source is one of the things that allows that. He is used to create single user versions of uh, and different software, multi-user software, or for educational propo purposes, because it's one of the easiest to uh, start to use, or to do experiments. And uh, he really sh it really shines in embedded mobile and IoT world. The SQLite, of course, is not a server database. It's not well suited for many concurrent writers or when you have very big databases or when your uh, databases are accessible by network. So there are some uh, things. Best practice. SQLite, you, when you connect to SQLite, one of the important interesting things that you can use row factory. Row factory, there are some row factory, but the most uh, practical in uh, Python is SQLite row. SQLite row gives you the ability to access every field using the field name and not having to recur to the index number, which is more difficult to debug and understand. Another thing is uh, you should use uh, context. Context manager uh, in the in this case are used as uh, to to envelop to 
trans uh, transaction. So when you uh, start your content manager, you start the transaction, and when you end the content manager, the content manager ends. So if everything inside the content manager goes well, the transaction is commit. And if mm, yeah, some exception occur or or something uh, uh, stop the context manager to end uh, in the correct way, uh, the transaction will be rolled back. Okay. Uh, another thing important, very important, is to use placeholder. Placeholder instead of creating your string using format or F strings or other things. Because uh, when you use uh, this kind of uh, thing, you can uh, incur in conversion errors because sometimes you th uh, in your test, you use just uh, letters or numbers, but sometimes when you have uh, to use your real data word, uh, real data, you maybe have uh, special characters or maybe so it can have conversion problems. Another thing is that it's very important uh, and easy way to prevent SQL injection. Okay, another thing that is, uh, I just uh, see you is you prefer to use directly the connection. Sometimes, of course, you need the cursor to read all your uh, rows and the cursors is just for that. But uh, when you can, you may prefer uh, execute using the connection. You can execute the connection using your SQL sentences and variables, a tuple with uh, the values to put inside your SQL. Or you can use execute many, execute many, for example, if you have a lot of inserts, then there are a, a list of n tuples of any with uh, the values of every one of these inserts. Or you can use execute script. Execute script is very useful when you have the situation that you want to um, create index, create temporary tables, or create just uh, the schema of the database uh, totally because you will prefer this. So you have one SQL sentences and after the other. Okay. Another thing that I'm going to see you is that, is that you can configure uh, some option that I'm, I'm going to show you some important options next uh, using the pragma sentences the pragma sentences is uh, when you use some option and you put this option you set this option to some value uh, the, the, the schema is when you uh, and you refer to some database uh, you can open many databases in one connection using the attached sentences. So in this case, you need to see, to uh, explicitly say with uh, one database is what you want to uh, change the configuration. But normally you just use your default database. Okay. Next, I'm going to talk about in very, very important things. In databases, you need to ensure that you are going to have consist consistency. For example, if you have uh, one transaction and, you, uh, and some people give money to the other, you cannot uh, subtract from one account and add to the other account. And, and not adding to the other account or vice versa, uh, sub, uh, add from one account and subtracting and, and subtracting for the other because you are or destroying or creating money. 
and this is not uh, allowed. <laughs> so uh, you need to ensure that everything is okay. Uh, uh, transactions ensure in uh, uh, this database that it performs the ACID, uh, the, the ACID principle. The ACID principle means uh, atomicity. Atomicity means that everything is every every operation inside the, this transaction is uh, correctly uh, done or known. What everyone or known. Uh, um, isolation means that nobody is going to uh, read transaction inside while it is happening because it's going to read uh, an inconsistent data. Um, consistency C, uh, means consistency. Everything must have be consistent in uh, every time in the in every point in the time and durability, which means that uh, the data must be uh, stored securely. Okay, when you uh, use database, uh, use SQLite, you can use the pragma. The pragma is journal mode. Journal mode has uh, this value, wall, wall means write ahead login. Write ahead login uh, is, uh, means that uh, you use two uh, files inside your file system. One is the database, SQLite database, and the other is the login, the right ahead login. When somebody wants to write in the database, he, it, uh, the writer writes into the logger, uh, the logger file, not that directly to the database. So everybody is uh, reading in the database. After that, the, after it finishes, the, the transaction finish, then the writer uh, close it. Uh, in some period of, of time, the login is uh, written back to the database and the uh, data is uh, stored here, stored there. This, is, this allows uh, more concurrency because you have many readers. Uh, readers can use the database uh, easily, and one writer uh, inside in, into the right into the login. Another way to use roller modes in uh, SQLite is using uh, rollback files. Rollback files is the more traditional, is, is older than the other. And it, you just write directly into the data file and uh, the journal is used to uh, store the previous state of every data. So when you, um, if, if the transaction is rollback, uh, the journal it writes again into the data and return everything in the previous state. Uh, you can use a journal in delete or in truncate or in persist. Uh, delete means that the journal after after used every every transaction is finished, uh, the journal is delete. Uh, per truncate means that uh, after every transaction is finished, uh, the journal is uh, set to zero uh, length or persist means that the journal is uh, stay, stay there but uh, overwritten but with, with other values. Uh, another way to use it is uh, in, mom, in memory. In memory is very use, uh, useful because many times you use uh, this database to uh, perform cache or, or indexing another data or something like that. And you need maximize the speed of creation. Uh, of course, this means that everything is uh, with higher rise of corruption. So this is not uh, suitable for a situation where you need to uh, 
the, to ensure the durability of this data. Okay. Isolation level. Isolation levels means about when every uh, every other uh, user of the connection can uh, read the data that the writer is uh, updating. Um, normally, uh, when you open a connection with SQLite, you use a, a check uh, in the same thread by default, means that you have only one thread using this connection, but you can uh, share uh, with other threads uh, changing these options. Isolation normally is exclusive, which means that only one user is uh, uh, using the database and only and she or he is the only one that can read or write inside this uh, database. The next isolation level is immediate. Uh, they use uh, request writing, and uh, but when the user requests writing, every operation is completed, real or write operation. The database is locked for everyone, and uh, after the writer finish uh, the update, release the database to use in general. The ferret is uh, more, uh, allows you more concurrency because. Uh, the writer requests permission to write, it put the uh, database in read only mode, but readers can uh, can perform everything. Uh, he allows readings in detail. After that, after the writer finished writing, the database is uh, free for other writers. Okay, index. In database, uh, you just need to index. Index uh, uh, have a huge, uh, very important uh, food in um, uh, relation with a performance. The performance can change a lot using the right index. You need to index uh, the fields that you use for searches or the fields that can be used for relationship for, uh, when you have one table that are related to the other. You need to avoid to think uh, is, uh, carefully about what to index, because if you over index, your writing will be slower, and then um, this is a little problem. Uh, so you need to avoid over indexing. Okay, there are some special case index that SQLite support. For example, you can create partial index. Partial index means that not every row in a table is indexed. In this guy, in this example, I bring you. Uh, this is just the TM leaders, so just uh, the rows that has TM leader in true are indexed. This is useful uh, when you want to avoid to over indexing because you need just some uh, rows index. Uh, another uh, interesting um, special case use is when you want to um, index over a deterministic function. Maybe you have, for example, the age and the weight of uh, some rectangle and you want to index uh, using the area, or maybe you want something that is um, calculated uh, from uh, other uh, fields inside this table. Uh, deterministic means that when you know your input, you have one and just one output. For example, non a non-deterministic function, by definition, is the random function when you have some uh, some uh, range uh, and you don't know which output will be. Uh, another uh, special case is full text search. Full text search, when you need to uh, index 
text that are a field that has a lot of text, a lot of words, and uh, you uh, can use full text inders. This is a plugin, but is you said, and it's, it's, uh, but it is uh, available in all uh, platforms, uh, uh, Windows, Linux. So you can use it e easily. You don't need to uh, uh, compile the database. And it's available. You can use uh, the match operator to uh, find uh, words inside the text. It's very, very fast uh, compared to like operator, for example. OK. Finally, we are going to talk a little about uh, data types. Uh, SQLite has uh, some standard data types, strings, integers, floats, and be, uh, binary objects like uh, large binary object or JSON. Uh, daytime, uh, you are in, data, in SQLite can store them like strings, uh but uh, it, like strings and you have a lot of uh, conversions functions conversion functions allow you to uh, convert uh, uh dates uh, into uh, strings and vice versa for example here you use the function date uh he you you uh, put for example, now, and after that, you see that you fetch a string representing the day, the, the day, the today. This has, uh, you can uh, chain them, chain this kind of function. Uh, you see, for example, here I am uh, calculating the third Sunday on October. And uh, in the third Sunday on October, for example, I start by now. Then I go to the start of the year. After that, I add nine months. After that, I add 40 days. And after that, I uh, seek the next weekday, zero weekday, which is Sunday. Uh, with the Sunday, so you can uh, see that you can really has a lot of variation using this kind of functions and perform some uh, perf uh, uh, perform some uh, calculus and some functions. Um, another way is to use uh, declare uh, parse declare type. Part declare time is an option, and you need to use it when you create your database. Uh, for example, here uh, we open the connection using SQLite parse declare types. Uh, you execute it, uh, declaring that the path is a timestamp. Then you insert just using the daytime uh, in the um, uh, default library in Python. So you import daytime and you can use it. And the uh, data is stored in a binary format. Uh, and you can fetch it in the same uh, uh, format that you store it. Okay. Well, uh, with this, uh, we are just have uh, see some of the interesting features of this little database. Uh, I uh, start with some best practices. Uh, I just uh, show you some transaction isolation and concurrency options that SQLite has. Uh, SQLite has can. Uh, Use concurrency is not at, uh, at the same level as uh, some server database, but you can use concurrency. Uh, 
indexing. He has a really little, real uh, advanced index, uh, indexing of the capabilities. And after that, I show you uh, data, dates, uh, types, and uh, how to use uh, date and time in the, the date and time guide. Okay. Uh, with this, I finish. Uh, uh, I just uh, think everything. Okay, questions? Hello. Hey, Maria. Thank you so much. Uh, um, okay, we have a time left uh, for a bunch of questions. Uh, okay. It was uh, really nice. I've been using a uh, skill light as well for some uh, projects, and every day I found how uh, powerful it is indeed. Uh, yes. So the first one is: Could you give some concrete examples of places where you have used? SQL Live? Well, I have been in Cedepedia. I have been uh, using it in a project, uh, Cedepedia, and uh, we just uh, scrap a lot, a lot of pages, uh, HTML uh, pages, and, and we use it to uh, create the index. And really perform very well. Uh, we need we need to you need to know that it is going to be uh, distributed in Argentina as a pedagogical material uh, material. So we need to uh, ensure that this uh, thing, uh, <laughs> this this software, uh, runs in uh, very old and very little computers at our students at our. Uh, <clears throat> poor students can help, so it, it, it uh, help us very, very well. Nice, thanks. And the other question, what's the benefit of immediate over deferred isolation? Because with deferred Benef you can read, right? I don't think it is the, there are, uh, a benefit. I don't. I don't. I. I don't see any benefit uh, because it's, it's less performance. Uh, the thing that you need to know is that are uh, uh, you when you, uh, in SQLite for uh, permissions and every uh, everything related to security. You rely on operating system and file system uh, permissions. You don't have uh, users groups like in uh, server database. Uh, sometimes you can have uh, some uh, restriction on your operating system, so you need to fall back to uh, uh. Uh, less performant uh, uh, options. But I think that different must be used everywhere. Uh -huh. Perfect. Okay. Well, uh, thank you so much. I don't think uh, we have more questions. Uh, okay. Thanks a lot. Okay. <laughs> it was a pleasure.